Riders on the radio, getting pumped by Winnipeg. What the heck? Coats going off for the combine. But look at this. Woohoo! We're getting down to it. Three days left of canola. That's all we got. It's a good plate, seen better days. We got a new one. Knife sections look good for the most part. Some have some nicks in them, but they will make it. We've had a really good stretch of weather here in the fall, so harvest is wrapping up. A lot of the fields are harvested, a lot of straw is dropped and baled. Some bales picked up already, We've seen some fields harrowed already. Things are wrapping up. Okay, we're off. This is, uh, don't have a lot of time to work on the golf course, but as soon as we're done harvest, do some field work, work on my golf course. This is uh, tee box number one. Shoot over the wheat. I didn't wash the windows in here, did the other combine. That's the green. That's hole one green right there. It's about 105 yards. Uh, there's trees on the right. Still got to harvest that weed. It was a little green. It's a little bit better. Open the hopper, and then I'll run outside and unlock the float. Fancy my driving is right off the bat. See if I can cut this canola right beside the Super Beast. No, I'm not gonna get it all. Shoot, get it after, get it once we move the trucks. Ah, just a little bit. I missed. Some places is really good, like right here. Mid 40s, but my average is 25. A lot of places where there's basically nothing and a lot of kosher patches here. Just trying to deal with the sprayer track right now. It seems to be cooperating so far. Okay. The outside is not bad inside that is a little dirty you have to lean but you can't get off the seat or else the header will stop I want to see something gross check this out yuck just the dust sifts in the cab sticks on the windows on the floor I have to have my reels almost all the way out to feed this stuff in it's totally different. It's uh, more of a canopy on the top. I don't think the pods are very low, but it's kind of a canopy. This one, I just did a gulp. I don't change it. This FD75 has a manual draper speed adjustment on that dial down there. It'll be okay for this field, but when we switch to the next field, I'll get out and speed that up a little bit. This stuff isn't feeding that well I think my draper and center auger is too slow. We tried combining kind of out of sequence we didn't follow the sprayer and went into a field that was only sprayed for about 10 days and it was still too green so we only did um, a little bit in there and then had to go to a different field. The stems were like swath timing they were right wet the moisture of the canola was still around 8, but some places were above 10, so we had to get out of there. The canola here is so dry. My average is 6. Right here it's 5. Super Beast falls, so my dad's going to take that home and unload it. I'm going to go in his combine. My grandpa's here, 
our import he's going to come in here and combine in this combine a little bit of switching around when the truck gets full the canola isn't heavy enough to have a full-time trucker with, with the yield only going about 25 so just wait for the truck to get full and take it from there header feeds so much better doesn't even really matter where the reels are things are running faster oh, I should have switched that draper speed while I was outside that would have been the smart thing to do this guy just eats eats and eats let's see what he has in his fridge for special drinks fields are full of these little bush rabbits. Where does this guy go? <laughs> Finished that field in three hours. Started at 10 30. It's now almost 1 30. Yeah, three hours. I'll take this semi to that road then. Can you pick me up? Canola again this year has this tiny little regrowth going on. Last year it was full of it and we had to kind of cut above all this once we reg loaned it. It's not too bad here. The last field that we cut out of sequence had quite a bit of this. Just a quick glance as I'm getting back in the cab. Some knives have a little bit more experience than the others, but they will make it. Only a few days left. So many rocks here. You gotta cut above the rocks. You don't want those guys going through the combine. You pick them clean, and they just keep coming back. My grandpa was just saying on the radio that the germination and emergence is always really good, but it just dries out over the year on this field it missed a lot of the showers it's probably the least amount of rainfall that we've had here i don't know if it'd be four inches here we're at the yard we're at about six and then up, up north we're probably seven seven and a half so i just missed those little showers and that's why the canola is so thin i'm flashing it's quite a big deal I don't even know how many passes I've made. NFL Sunday today, I'm live betting from the combine cab. None of them hit. My combine speed is matching the moisture of the canola, 4.6. It is so dry out. 88 degrees Fahrenheit, beautiful day out there, but the canola is so dry, it's just whistling right through. The average has dropped. It says 27 and a half, but I think it's, I think that is reading high. Switching around again, back to the other combine. It's kind of like getting sent down to the miners. These windows are dirty. There's buildup on the header that I had to kick off. There's no special drinks in the fridge. No one's coming. To the third field of the day see how much we can get done here before dark this field got really burnt not much here at all it might get a little bit better here in the middle but not by much I got an alarm on the combine I'm gonna check it out give my dad some time to get up there before I get on my line here it says My shrouds. Right shroud not responding. Oops. Both aren't responding? That is weird. Let's 
so I will recalibrate it. I've had to do this probably three or four times already this fall. They just get out of sync and cause problems. Let's try that. That's not, it's not uh, flashing at me anymore. It's spreading. I just have to cut in a little bit. You can just stay on your line. Because if I, if I only take about 10 feet, it plugs uh, up in the middle here because there's nothing coming in from the other canvas. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't take half a cut with this header. It won't, won't feed. We're about half done here. About 80 acres done on this field. I'll do a little zoom out view of where we are. That is where we just came from. And then there is another field over here, which I'm not sure why it's not picking it up. Yeah, about half done here. Won't finish it tonight. Trucks will be full soon. That's it, trucks will be full with that full grain cart. 174 acres on this combine today. I got 174.95. Oh 